You're, you're, you're tuned into the stellar, stellar award winning internet radio station. You're at the right place at the right time. Yes, Lord Radio. Hold up. Wait just a minute. It's Roz on your radio. Yo. Keep it locked right here. Showcase fellowship inspired. Show, 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 show. show. Showcase. Hey, it's Roz on your radio. Show, 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 showcase. Showcase fellowship inspired. Yes, Lord Radio. Now it's time for another Yes, Lord Radio exclusive. Hey, everybody, it's Roz on the radio, and you're listening to another YLR exclusive. My guest today is Kiara Sheard, who's going to be a part of Mega Fest with Bishop T.D. Jakes in the Potter's House in Dallas, Texas. It's going down this Labor Day weekend. Uh, Kiara, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Awesome. We're excited. Now, in every sense of the word, this is going to be a mega event. And what I love about it is that it's so on time and it's so uh, on point for family. So I'm excited about that. But you're going to be a part of Mega Youth. And that's what we're talking about today. Um, but tell us about your involvement in Mega Fest. I'll be doing a concert, the Mega Youth concert with Molly Music, Ty Tribbett, Be Right. And uh, this event will be hosted by Isaac Curie. I'm totally looking forward to it. Uh, all of people that are on this lineup are total inspirations to me, as well as my great brothers in um, the ministry and the kingdom. So I'm looking forward to uh, Mega Fest and being at Mega Youth and being an inspiration to the young people and uh, wanting to make walking Christ look as fly as possible so that they can be inspired to stay with God. So I'm looking forward. Wonderful. Now, this event is, is very special because I was thinking about in the generations before us or whatever, um, you have people in civil rights uh, days, you have a lot of youth really coming out and supporting social change. And so they're very vocal, they're very active. And so then there seems like there was a period of time where your youth, um, they didn't speak out as much about what they believed in. But now it seems like there is a really a, a raising up of a new army of leaders and they're young and they're energetic and they're ready to be able to share with the world this message of hope and this message that God is real and he exists. And so you seem to be one of those leaders. So tell us about your call to be able to be a part of this army of youth. Uh, it's a blessing and I count it a blessing because to be a part of this generation and to uh, have the voice that I have for this generation, yeah, I, I count it a blessing because it's obviously God trusting me with that platform. And I don't take that lightly at all. Yes. Uh, a lot of young people may use, you know, me as an excuse for why they can do certain things. So I don't take that lightly at all. I try my best to walk worthy of my calling as well as, you know, live what I sing about. I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do ask that no one puts me on the pedestal because <laughs> right. um, I have my downfalls. However, um, I, like I said, I do count it a blessing because young people, people, period, don't have to do to inspire them. And so I thank God for the opportunity. I'm humbled uh, to be able to be a part of this generation, especially bold, believing, young, Christian, young adults. So... I, I, I count, like I said, I count it a blessing, and I actually become a little speechless when it comes to being one of the voices uh, of our generation. Mm -hmm. So it, it's an amazing thing, and I hope that I'm inspiring someone to, if not be as bold as me, to be bolder. Uh, so, I, like I said, I count it a blessing, and it's, it's super exciting to see how so many young people are often sending messages to me and saying, you know, oh, this was me, or this has inspired me or you impacted my life and you challenged me to do this. I know what that's like because I've sent letters yes. and emails to my celebrity, uh, my favorite celebrities. And though I may have never gotten a response back, I know those persons who have inspired me. So I count that a blessing. Wonderful. Now at this event, um, you're not just singing, but you're also going to be speaking as well. And I bring that up because this is an opportunity for young people who will be in Dallas, Texas during Labor Day weekend to show everybody their code. And they're saying that code is a code word for 
confession, opinion, devotion, and engaging. So I'm excited that the youth want uh, just to be able to just hear the talent that's going to be there, but they'll also be able to share their thoughts and their feelings and confess some of the things that they are going through as the youth. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you'll be sharing with them there. Oh, yes, I'll be on the panel. And I think we'll just be kind of just talking about natural things. I'm not for sure what we were talking about, but I always find myself being as real and natural as possible. I, I've learned to be as transparent as possible. Um, I, I've also learned if you expose yourself, no, you, you're giving no one else room to expose, you know, anything about you. So oh, that's good. I try my best to be as um, transparent and as humble as possible uh, so that, you know, everyone, I think the purpose of our trials and our challenges through life is so that we can share them with our brothers and sisters so that they can know this is what I've gone through. Hey, don't bump your head here, but you can go this route. And so I'm willing to share those things with young people because I know that I won't be, you know, it's, it's so many other people and so many other lives that need to touch. Um, that maybe I'm not reaching, that maybe the next person will be coming behind me mm-hmm. reaching. Uh, so I think that it's important that we share and willing to talk and share our experiences with everyone and not thinking that, oh, because I have this certain status or whatever it is, mm-hmm. uh, and I can't share this. No, I feel like it's thought that I'm the least of them, and that's what I'm learning to keep my mind. Um, Bible says knowledge puffed up, and we have to humble ourselves. We have got to humble you got to humble yourself. And so yeah. that's the way that I've learned to humble myself, and that is by being transparent. So on this panel, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to be as uh, transparent as possible and as well as inspire, like I said, young people and minister to someone. So I'm looking forward to this panel and actually listening to what the others will have to say uh, and listening to their ways of the most independent. So I can't wait. I'm looking forward to Yes, we are too. Now, what are what else are you looking forward to this weekend? I mean, there's a lot of things going on this weekend. Uh, at MegaFest, I'm also looking forward to Oprah's Life Class with Bishop Jake and um, it's Oprah Winfrey. They are, shout out to Bishop Jake. He's just amazing, so inspiring. Mm-hmm. And I thank him for uh, not being selfish with the platform that he has. If you think about Bishop Jake, he didn't have everybody. And yes. so I think God doesn't forget about, um, he doesn't forget about anyone, it doesn't seem like. So I thank God for Bishop Jakes, and I'm looking forward to the two of them. I'm actually going in a day early. I paid for my tickets and everything, so I'm looking forward to that. Wonderful. Okay, and speaking of tickets, we know that for adults, it's going to be $60, and children, $20. So go ahead and get your tickets, because I hear they are really going very fast and the seating is going pretty fast but um kiera i want to thank you so much for hanging out with us and letting us know about um, mega youth and mega fest and we're hoping to see you guys there and guys of course if you're going to be attending mega fest let us know about it you can do that by visiting us on the yr shout box join me on facebook.com and twitter.com slash Roz on the radio and also uh kiera let everybody know how they can stay connected to you and learn more about megafest sure i'm on facebook instagram twitter tumblr uh all of the social networking sites i'm there as just kiera sheer i don't have a nickname like poo poo <laughs> or kiera and just kiera sheer <laughs> Ms. Kiera Shear, so you can find me, and I have a website, I am com, and you can also find out um, days and times of when I'll be in other cities. So I'm all over the place, but check me out. Awesome, awesome. And, of course, megafest.com, mega dash fest.com if you guys want more information on that. Thank you so much. It's been such a joy, and we can't wait to see you guys there.